All right, now we're in the kitchen, and if you struggle to get your kids to eat a decent breakfast, don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, a recent study uh, has shown that one in every five children skip, skip breakfast entirely. But fret not, parents, uh, because today we are making three quick and easy healthy breakfast options that'll have even the fussiest of mouths watering. And we're joined by pastry chef Grace Stevens and dietitian Anna-Marie de Beard. Uh, ladies, thank you very much for joining us, offering us uh, as parents as well a lot of ideas that we can add actually use at the end of the day but before we start I want to treat you a little bit so let me know do you prefer your Milo hot or cold Gracie cold please you like yours cold like well cold. fortunately I've already pre-made your cold oh, one for you yeah, and how about you Anna Marie I like mine warm okay thanks. good so while we carry on with the recipes I'll make one for you now let me quickly let you know a child's breakfast beverage plays an important role in nutrition too and you can use your child's breakfast beverage to increase the nutrient value of their breakfast with great tasting Nestle Milo now Nestle Milo adds protein Protein, carbohydrates, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals, as well as malted barley, and to meet the energy requirements of your active child. But to our recipes, then, ladies, who's starting first? Grace, are you going to be first? I'll start. <laughs> okay, good. What do you start? You get, you get um, going. I can... This is my first time back in the kitchen. For Welcome months. back. <laughs> Welcome so back. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with these nice, colourful flapjacks because mm -hmm. I think children just love things that are nice and colourful. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Let's call Weird. it that too, That's you know. I, I must say, all four of my kids have been fussy eaters and I, two of them have cracked, cracked them. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I've got my oats in here and then I'm just going to pop. So you just pop everything in to um, your blender, uh -huh. just so nice and easy. Some vanilla to go in there, nice, give some nice oh, flavour. Some salt. And then a little bit of raising agent, so I've got baking powder in there. And then your eggs. So you've got lots of fibre, lots of nutrients. Anna Marie, is this like a go-to? From a nutritional point for, of view, what do you would say? Would this be like a good way to start? A very kids? good morning yeah. and a very good way to start the morning with, yes. Um, very definitely. I think the fact that you can add the fruit already in there is also giving the kids a head start. Apart from all the energy and the protein that's in there, you're actually giving them this head start because we find that children also don't eat enough fruit. Yes. So this is a very nice way of giving them the fruit without them even realizing they're having some. Oh, I'm exactly. so glad that this is spot on there. And if, yeah, if, I, if I remember as, as, a, as a child, especially um, being involved... I'll let, I'll let the YouTube bullet do its thing first before I get too much into conversation. But of course, after this, the batter you're then going to be using... And then we're just going to put a pan and Okay, well, yeah. there we go. Nice and easy. Yeah. But I remember as, as a child, especially uh, having extramural activities after school, I, I wanted to eat as quickly as possible mm. so I could get to the game mm. or get yeah, to the match. Yeah. So doing something like this and having your child being able to take in the fibre, the protein, the nutrients and the mm. carbs of, of the potassium of the, uh, of the banana all at once very quickly is what you're looking for, that quick solution. And especially in the afternoons, I think it's a, it's a very good solution, especially for kids that does have sport in the afternoon. Obviously, this year is a bit of a different one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But um, going forward, we, we hope they all will, will be participating again, yeah, so very definitely. Excellent. So there we go. That's the flapjack idea. Yes, yes. Very quick and easy. And you get those onto a hot pan and you uh, get them to look like that. Yes. Or in all different kinds of colours. OK, yeah. let's get to our second recipe. Right, so we're going to make some cookies now. And I must say that as a mother, and I'm sure you'd agree with me, the art of hiding veggies and hiding good <laughs> stuff in your kids' um, food is really something that we, <laughs> we learn very quickly. Mm. So again, oats and bananas, so fibre, potassium, all Those just go stuff, so well okay? together. And then this is a kid favourite, um, unless you're deathly allergic. Um, a peanut quarter butter. cup of peanut butter goes yeah. in here. My family's a crunchy peanut butter kind of family. Yeah. What's your family like? Uh, smooth. Smooth, okay. Smooth. <laughs> But of course, if you like, you were talking about allergies now to mm. peanuts. I mean, there are other uh, kinds of alternatives, are there not? Uh, of course, yes. there are. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it depends if you're allergic to ground nuts or tree nuts. Yes, you can exactly. Shake that up and stuff yeah. like that. But otherwise, I mean, there are lots of ways to hide your nutrients. Of uh -huh. course, peanut butter is here for the protein, yes. isn't it? This and is and for the energy, it. because you actually need the energy as well. So we should never forget that peanut butter is very high in energy, ultimately it's butter, mm -hmm. yes. um, very high in energy, so it really also gives the kids that boost, um, and especially in the morning when they're on the run, um, 
I heard someone this morning saying they have to go and drop off kids. I'm not sure if they even had breakfast yet, <laughs> but yes. grabbing yeah. a cookie then can actually work quite well because okay. you actually know that you're giving them something very nutritious. And again, it's on the go breakfast that they can have. Anna Marie, did I just hear you say cookies for breakfast? You and me, we can be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And Anna Marie, uh, uh, the, the, that, that fancy word, uh, low glycemic index, low GI, is that still a thing? Um, are you looking at, and for instance, in this particular recipe, what you're putting together there, will it ultimately be low GI and be slow releasing in energy over a longer period of time? In all probability it will, and the reason for that is really the oats that you're adding to that. So yes. The glycemic index works around the carbohydrates, the amount of fat that you have in there, and, and fat is a good way of actually reducing the, the glycemic index of any product. So, oh. In that, so we know that oats, for example, is a very slow re releaser of energy. Um, and in this particular case, I would, uh, if you had to calculate it, I think it would definitely have quite a low glycemic index good, good, because good. you're also not having a lot of sugar in this. So yes. you, you have the taste, mm -hmm. but actually out the sugar. There we go. All right. While Gracie is busy with that and adding the final ingredients and then putting it out onto our baking paper over there, let's get to the quiches. Good. I think this quiche is actually a very nice idea for the whole family to cook together, especially in the morning, yes. on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, get the kids involved, grating um, all the veggies, because again, they see what it looks like, uh -huh. um, and it gives them that, that buy-in into actually adding the food, uh, add, eating the, the vegetables in the morning. Okay, so you've got a couple of eggs in there that you... Yes, I think there's about six eggs in mm -hmm. here, um, and you really just beat all of this up. And then what ingredients or what vegetables have you uh, um, sliced up and... We've got some spinach here. Good. I think this is cucumber or it could be actually baby Orgette, marrow. Baby, marrow, baby yes. marrows. We've got some carrot, some um, cheese, of course, and then some ham. And Wonderful. this you can also replace yeah. with any other kind of thing. And I think that's important even for these veggies. You can add any veggie. Mm -hmm. um, for the cookies that we're baking or the flapjacks, you can add any other fruit. Okay, um, there we go, yes. Whatever Get in as much as possible. At that, at that particular time. Oh, there we go. Gracie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave your reward over here. Oh, cheers, thank Which you. is your cold oh, Milo. Oh, that's amazing. And Anna-Marie, I remember you said you like a warm one. Thank you. Which by now, I hope has cool down enough for you to enjoy right after you've popped all of those quiches into our muffin pan. Thank you very much, ladies. Great ideas. And I hope that that has inspired you at home because, I mean, you can look at it now. Breakfast will never be the same again. So to get your hands on these delicious and nutritious recipes, you can, of course, visit our website, which is expressoshow.com. Breakfast your day with Nestle Milo.